Welcome back with us folks tonight. I want to show you how and why we planned the pullback on SPY last Friday. We called it in the watch list and we were basically waiting for it to happen um, on, on Friday. This is happening Friday pre-market and I'll show you the strategy behind all this so you can, you can learn from it. Um, this is the pre-market activity before the open. And look that we are slowly inching higher and higher as the day is, uh, as we're getting closer to the bell. And you've probably watched in previous videos that this is pre-market resistance. If we ever break through, usually it becomes bullish. Um, what I don't like about SPY and even lately when we have well, on Friday, we had G7, European Union, and NATO summits all on one day. Um, it was bound to have a little bit of volatility, and I was it was to expect that we could have some sort of a pullback and not scream right off the bat to, to um, break the, the pre-market uh, pre resistance. So um, usually when we, we, we get this kind of... Um, behavior pre-market if we break through it becomes very bullish but on a pre-market high open usually we see some sort of a pullback and then we have a direction and let's let's see how i was looking at it and i wasn't so sure about it because um because of what what i just mentioned regarding the uh, the uh, volatility that was possible possible but it it did indicate something that was looking amazingly bullish. See this, what I'm talking about? Pre-market resistance, we get down to uh, a certain level. So I call this a little pullback. Then we reject the resistance that we had. See this is resistant. It used to be support. Now it becomes resistance. Oh, we get a higher low. Then we break, we break through. We look like we were going to get bullish but straight off that sell-off started um i was under the impression that it would have happened right you know closer to here but it gave a fake signal a fake, fake bull signal which is okay because i was not looking to play the upside uh, i was maybe looking for something to bounce on a lower point which we called in the watch list and this is what i want to show you how did i come up with that one um let's zoom out a little bit look at the previous day look at how it behaved so we had buyers come up to a certain point rejecting a certain point right so sellers took over and then same line and then what happened oh we broke through Right, and then that line was used as support, and then we moved on. Let me put a line, a real line, on this one so you can guys can see it. I'll put drawings, and there you go. See this line now? This line was previous day resistance, and it became support very close after uh, before the bell. So you can see this is some sort of an interest line, um, a line to watch. Is it? always going to be something to watch well let's move out Let, let's move even further out so you guys can all see what i was looking at oh let's get this a little less busy um check this out you guys have seen this chart because you've watched it a few times this is the spy chart you know this long crawl up we get to a point of resistance, pull back, and now you guys see this line is probably the line of resistance that we have, but this is what not what I was looking at. I'm looking at some sort of a support. When we see any big pullback, you know, a pullback like this, pullback like this, um, this pullback, everything here that you see has volume, and we should keep an eye on all of these pullbacks. Now, going to make it a little cleaner for you guys but this one is a pullback i was interested in because it's very close to where we were trading and let me put a line on this so you guys can all see what i'm looking at so i'll put 
a line see very close to that see here so it becomes support this is where it bounces and yeah, I'm sure you guys can all see it and I'll add a few things so you guys can know see how it behaves once we put a line in a chart sometimes we see more things see how it bounces on this line here's a higher low it's a little higher but it's very close to that line this one it rejected the line and it ended up closing lower here was a lot of trouble and hit the line you know as we went below found some support went up rejected it and went back down now you all see this is 448.85 ish right so you can probably see that it's very similar line that we had in let's say the five minute chart that we call because this was the top there top there and the idea was to see a pullback to that line it used to be support it found buyers at one point right it became support and at this level previous day it was resistance so let's see how it behaved so basically when it came to that it was flushing with a very large um you know basically when you're when you're watching this you have no interest in going long because you look oh you're looking at the whole thing saying oh man this is the end of the world we're we're doomed we're going down because you know we're 452 here and now 448 we have lost four dollars in a few candles it looks uh extremely bearish however you know it's going to bounce somewhere and that somewhere is where you planned you plan on getting in you know what we overshot a little bit on on this wick and then it you know this higher low was right on the line and it became uh the bullish move that we wanted so on that line we alerted what because we were sitting on that on uh, on the um on the plan that we had plan that we set before the market opened and the plan was what if we get to our support line that we tested day before was resistance now it should test as support and we've shown you many times pull back to the previous support or resistance is a place of interest you all saw that on the daily it was an old place where we found buyers on that line so basically the plan is this when we get to the line it bounces and then we move to the upside we decided to take 450 calls for monday why not the same day well various reasons is we, if we start flushing um even further while you know we're losing value by a significant margin and we do not have a lot of time to catch up if we wanted to do something a lot more plus safer than to take something out of the money um we could have been taking something in the money you know in the 448 447 even calls on the same day expiry however we decided to take monday 450s and you know you all saw that that 200 ema rejected and then we went through and i decided to get out as we were hitting the pre-market resistance which was here um a little before it hit the top but i was you know happy with the move came down and moved up flushed a lot of people um we've seen that happen many times on fridays uh but the exit was called there which was previous the uh the pre-market resistance which is you know happy enough we could have aimed for something like this level which ended up being right at the end of the day but the idea is to be consistent with your play plan was for the recovery between the plan and wherever we had resistance and that i believed it was in the pre-market so basically what i was attempting to do here is to show you that sometimes when you have a plan and a pullback plan was you know when you look at all these red candles sometimes a lot of people are extremely uh, 
overwhelmed about the fact that uh, it becomes very bearish so emotions take away and they're like oh no man it's that's tanking too much but in fact no you should smile at this because it's inching towards your plan your plan is to hit that level that you already you had already planned and then when once you get there you move to the upside um if we had taken out of the money 450 for the same day obviously they would have paid a lot more um the idea is not to have a percentage contest here the idea is to be consistent so we ended up on buying 450s for monday uh, and selling at this level for a respectable 49% win on something that lasted just only a few hours. So hope you guys are learning from this and I will uh, stay tuned because I'll do something that is very similar on Netflix that we also play. Stick around.